again. Now we're gonna look at force because you gotta enter. This comes in, bam, moves in, shoo, comes in. Now what happens is, is that he's locked in here. The leg is locked in, the arm is locked in, and this palm is locked in here. He tries to move this arm down, doesn't matter. You have good control. You're locked in. A couple seconds can be over. We can't show you this because it's too dangerous, but when this comes in, this really is going to give a strong, strong attack, which is going to buckle him. At the same time this buckles, this hits, this hits, this hits, this hits. In slow motion, you'll see it comes slow. Bam, 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 comes in. And you're going to see a type of rolling movement because you beat him while he's standing. Remember that exploding palm can be used anywhere. Poison hands are usually in vital areas, usually the throat. You're going to see it mostly to the throat. A exploding palm or chi energy forces anywhere, so the legs are just as dangerous. I'm stopping the attack. As I stop the attack, I line up my long gong point, and this creates some more energy. At the same time, I'm hitting with exploding palm, crushing forearm, and crushing legs. So you're seeing three strikes immediately right in the beginning. Not one strike, but three. But besides the strike, it's going to be what we call exploding force. So this comes in, bam, moves in. This is exploding force. And now, bam, my elbow can go to the kidney, crushing here, hitting to the carotid artery, and then taking out the throat. Simple. In the tiger, it crushes. So a poison hand, as we know it, can come in and control the carotid arteries and juggler veins. But what you're not understanding is that it can send energy, chi energy, through the body. That's where the danger is. In other words, we look at, just in brief, a choke. A choke can be something where mm, you're coming around and, you know, you'll see a lot of them. It takes a lot of time. Kind of dangerous for a military type of maneuver. But just controlling the carotid artery in a couple different spots and putting pressure, it only takes a couple seconds. So a true poison hand will put thumb going in one direction, small finger in another direction, the middle of the palm in a third direction, and twist and move and bring energy in. They call it a poison hand because you're actually like a snake injecting negative chi energy into the body and that's going to create a lot of problems. The other problem is because the brain needs energy, power, and force. It cannot store blood, oxygen, and glucose. So therefore, in this position, we're stopping blood, oxygen, and glucose. We're stopping the actual circulatory system from working. We're shutting it down. And at the same time, the carbon dioxide, the poisons can't release. And that's another reason for the poisoning. They call it poisoning because it's stopping the poisons, which is carbon dioxide, in the body from being released. And that's going to be a large factor in putting in what we call deadly force. All depends on how well and how strong you are to get in. These maneuvers at a military level need energy, power, and force. Can't use what we think is a technique because it's not going to work. You're not going to get a technique. You're not going to get past that arm. Remember, this is force. They ain't coming up to you and punching you. You know, put your punch up. Nobody's going to do this, and then you're going to do something and hit 2,000 times and get, it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. They're going to use force because this whole forearm can take out my sternum, clavicle, and head with one strike. And the force is coming in, which is going to prevent me from attacking. And that's what we're looking at. We have to not only stop the force, but continue to cause internal damage and prevent him from counterattacking. So all this happens as one movement. That walking coming in. 
It's all in here. The leg is going in one direction. This palm is pushing the shoulder in another direction. This is pulling down. This is coming in. And the exploding palm, which is different than really a poison hand, can control in many areas at once and has the ability to crush. Mm -hmm. We look at the beauty of this exploding palm and what it is is when it hits, bam, it controls. Or bam, can break. It does that because it's an internal strike. Internal means that I'm going to be using several parts of the hand kind of locking on. My small fingers push towards me, thumb pushes away, this section pushes down. At the same time, my elbow locks in. This will prevent him in every direction from escaping because in this position, as he tries to move the arm out, you're putting pressure, controlling. It becomes difficult. If you're just trying to grab something, you break out towards the thumb easy. But in a controlling, what we call exploding palm, crushing elbow and destroying elbow, I'm sorry, crushing forearm and destroying elbow at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, exploding palm, crushing forearm, bam, destroying elbow. And this all can be done in a very simple fashion. When it comes in, bam, shoot, it in. And so the movement has tremendous force, prevents him from using anything else. That's where the power is. Power is not in hitting something and possibly hurting it, because he still has the whole body. Energy force, we call it chi energy force, not only strikes but controls, and can commit deadly force easily, and stop the attack. Because the attack's going to be from here, close. They're not going to walk up to you and you know it. So if the attack comes in, bam, moves in here, controls. Push down, hit with the palm. This is what we have exploding force. Crushing forearms. And once it comes in, the idea is that it stops the attack from coming, not even using this. And you'll see that simple movement in the Taiji. Simple. Tiger. Right? This is a tiger. Comes in. You can use one hand coming in. Bam. Coming in here. And crushing. Or it comes in. Bam. Two hands. Bam. Can hit. Crushing force. But remember, it's not tense because then you can't control. When this palm hits, it's going to break the bone. Flat bones produce new red blood cells. Therefore, arteries, nerves, and veins are connected. Hitting in this area is tremendous. Coming in, you're going to stop it immediately. I'm continuing chi force and move up. Boom, comes in. Energy, power, and force. And that's why Tiger is so relevant in that it has a lot of power. One motion can break the arm, crush it, take my elbow and his elbow into his ribs and send the ribs into the kidneys in a second with exploding force. Comes in, boom, bam. Simple. Okay. So now we're kind of seeing how it is. Now, this motion in the tiger, shoulder, elbow, forearm, boom, comes in, boom, comes in. When you practice, you practice energy. So that anywhere in here is powerful. Don't do this. Think of the end, like you're here, you're relaxed, then you get to the end, you put in power. No, power is continuous here. <clears throat> Calms in. 
and you use the backhand and change it. So when the force comes in, bam, here. Bam, hits. Comes in, controls. You're stopping the nose from breathing, the mouth. We're causing an internal energy force. This is the beginning stage of a tiger. But when you see it happening, it's quick. Only takes a second. Comes in, boom, shoom, comes in. That's it. The head, bam, once hits, the brain shifts, swells up. Once that brain swells the vessels, they all really get so large that the head just shuts down, brain shuts down. The front is going to be the reflexes also, the front lobe. Back is going to be more sight, hearing. You're going to stop a lot of these senses of the body. And he can't see because when you go bam hitting, the most important part of the exploding palm is it has a power from here. Boom, hits. Shoom, comes in. So it doesn't need this, you know, bam, force. It's just from here. See, Tiger has what we call chi energy. And you'll see it in the Chen style tremendously. But it's at the point of impact, the body <clears throat> releases. And when the body releases, bam, you have exploding force. The secrets of the Chinese arts are, there's three treasures. Jin, Jin energy, comes from the earth into the legs. Jin makes the bone marrow dance so that you have exploding power. Like a tiger, can you imagine the bone marrow on a tiger? It's tremendously powerful. Jin energy. Shen is a mind, is a spirit, because your mind has to be crisp, animal instinct. It's got to move instinctively. If the mind is slow, then you're slow. You want to be a fast fighter, powerful fighter, we call it imperial fighter. You need a mind, Shen, spirit, energy. And then we have a Qi. Qi, there's different types of Qi, but we're talking about the Qi that's going to give you the most energy. And a fourth treasure that's hidden is called Chen, exploding force. When you see a tiger accenting this, the long gong brings energy in. High level of fighting, this is actually Qigong, brings in energy. When this is going to attack to me, he comes in, boom, bam, I come in. Comes in and controls. I have the nose, the eyes, the mouth. Arm is down, controlling, pressing down. And from here, if I decide to go to a takedown, just twisting, turning, and coming in. Force. It's here. If you don't have any force, coming slow, bam, that collapses. If I'm not using chi energy, it collapses, then I'm in trouble. Can you imagine come very slow, <laughs> trying to block this thing? You coming in, bam, it's like, it's not going to happen. You know? So if you're using that, and then the other thing is, you know, punches. Get rid of them. They don't exist. Blacks don't exist. Punches don't exist. Kicks don't exist. You need to use your body in a more relaxed, powerful way. Because in a punch, I may get it in, may not get it in. And a punch has a surface that may hit, may not hit. In the FBI statistics, as a defensive tactic instructor for the state of Illinois, 70% or greater of all officers who use a punch during a confrontation, end up in breakage and damage to themselves. That's why you see any kind of a sport wearing, they tape the arms and they cover with pads because it breaks very easy.